can definitely feel that in this part of uh, Italy there is no money but uh, it doesn't mean that the place does not work to be seen it's very unique place and definitely need to be seen I always enjoy this type of architecture see the terraces from one terrace you can jump into the another Calogero was right it looks like Morocco mountains the villages you can feel here this Muslims influence or Arabian influence so far so good half of the day is gone and I've got wonderful uh, moments again this lava everywhere and the views from here of course spectacular the elevation on the top was 2000 meters or a little bit more and uh, right over the top to the end of volcano is 3000 here now it becomes 33 degrees and we're going even more down which is mean it will be even more warm but that's fine it is what it is you know my favorite phrase and this actually is very beautiful brand new road all of this cactus everywhere yeah start to look like desert the temperature rising cactus is still green here and there Oh, we're gonna see what will be later Calogero just explained me that now we're in the middle of uh, Sicily and we'll, today we're gonna stay mostly in the middle of Sicily and uh, here is more likely like a desert and more we ride this direction the yellow and yellow it is going to be on some stage we're gonna hit like 800 meters above the sea level but it will be still very hot at the moment it's 35 degrees this part of Sicily might not be interesting to everyone but I really want to have an idea what is every region Etna is over there This is a nice road going up I don't know where exactly we are going but I'm happy to see the direction and I am sure that uh, Calogero know, knows where we're going and the place will work it definitely. He's very very clever and educated guy. Beautiful road. Our day is Etna. This is nice. This is Centuripe. Now we're going to the old historical center. Ah, interesting how they built all of this, like this on the road. Nice, isn't it? I always enjoy this type of architecture. Time to eat something, huh? Okay, perfect. All right, one more nice view. And this is the church in the center. Ah, oh, it's really, really nice place. Very quiet. Yes, this stop was needed. Now we have to find the petrol station for Calogero to fill its tank. I'll fill mine as well. And then we'll continue, we'll go to a war cemetery Second World War cemetery nearby It will be interesting to see it And then we'll continue explore 
uh, this part of Sicily. Yeah, it is interesting. But this small street, uh, I cannot get enough. See the terraces? From one terrace, you can jump into another to see how your neighbors are going. Very interesting town, very. Ah, man, have a look at the views from here. This looks like Morocco. The mountains, the villages. You can feel here this Muslims influence or Arabian influence because once in a while they also been here in this um, island beautiful here, beautiful Kalogero told me that this road was abandoned a few years ago and I have seen a lot of signs, no entry, no entry but it is still open it and locals use it and yes, I'm happy to, to use it as well You can definitely feel that in this part of uh, Italy there is no money but uh, it doesn't mean that the place does not worth to be seen it's a very unique place and definitely need to be seen oh, this must be the center This is one beautiful lake that uh, Calogero asked me what I would like to see to go on the other side and stop next to the lake and maybe see wild horses and cows or come on that side and go and see the war cemetery and I said let's go to see the cemetery and then he explained that we're gonna see the lake from the top anyway so this is the lake in the middle of Sicily Every time when I visit places like, like this, I feel so sad to see age 28, age 28, age 29, 24, 21. This is Canadian War Cemetery right in the middle of Sicily. Yeah, beautiful monument, beautiful view, but why cemetery? This, all of this makes me really sad. This is Pozzilio Lake and on the background is Etna Volcano. <sighs> Respect to all of these guys. Alright, this was interesting but sad. Now we will go to that hill. On the top there is a castle and under the castle it's a small town named Ajira. We're going there to eat ice cream and then we will continue. Many of the old towns in Sicily are located on the hills like this one. So every time when you want to visit it you have to have this curvy road to go to the top which is really interesting it makes it uh, really unique unique places this is nice now ice cream stop next step it's one old castle the road is today it's only 33 kilometers but the GPS said one hour should be really interesting and twisty road like 
Uh, 90% of the roads that I have seen in Italy so far. This is just fantastic, isn't it? So green and these beautiful colors compared to what we have seen so far. This really beautiful looks like like Ireland here. This part. Oh man. Nice, nice. This road is is a real pleasure. This is the famous Sperlinger Castle, which is actually digged into the rocks. But the road to here was just fantastic. It was the best road that I have seen so far in Sicily. How do they build it? Interesting. Yeah, agricultural instruments. Oh, so good, cold here, like air conditioning. Yeah, a lot of stairs. Whatever, at least I have some wind, so it's not that bad. How old is this place? Uh, I think it's before, was the island, and after the island, the ranch. All right, so, so very old. The story said that this place here was used to keep the horses and the last purpose that it got was a prison. Very interesting chambers. There is some kind of modernization here, I can see it. Support, maybe concrete, was the room of the princess of the castle. Of course, with these spectacular views around the area. Yeah. Very, very nice. And of course the church. Churches are everywhere. Not very comfortable with motorcycle boots, though, but all right. A few more meters. All right. And this is the view from the top of. Sperlinga Castle. Fantastic. This side. And over there, in the far, far distance, is Etna. Hi, man, this was nice. Very nice. And the town. Berlinga Castle. Ah, let's move further. It is six o'clock. It's became a little bit. Uh, the temperature drops a little bit, which is good. And we've got like more hundred kilometers to cover, maybe a little bit more. Again, the first part will be only beautiful roads, and then we may decide to get the highway and finish for today. The views are so beautiful, the colors are nice and the smell is such a beautiful smell on some kind of herbs, I cannot even tell you on what, but it is just fantastic moment. This area is not very popular for tourists, 
because it is on the side and uh, to be honest the whole day I haven't seen even a single motorcyclist here yesterday I saw a few bikes around and the day before around uh, Catania mostly on the highways but not many here and he said here is on the side people usually stick on the coast but this is such a beautiful area green with a lot of twisty roads he also said that even the big touristic groups are not coming here because because of all of these turns if you have to come with the bus you have to spend like six seven hours going left right left right with the bus so people don't want to come here but in my opinion this is one of the most beautiful parts of sicily but it is what it is have a look now these green colors and the views and these hills from everywhere Pfft. i don't know i hope more and more people will come to to ride this place because it's just beautiful and you can see what is the condition of the roads perfect brand new ah again on the top is Ganji the same as before to see it you have to climb the serpentines which is nothing more but perfect what a pleasure so yes it is constantly ups to the town down to the fields ups to the town down to the fields it's absolutely a pleasure I don't know how to describe it better I don't need even to say anything about the view but let me tell you the story of this town Ganji Lilio just explained me that uh, this was this town was abandoned for so many years and was completely ruins and the mayor of the town said that he's gonna sell one house for one euro to everyone who wanted with the obligation to restore it and make it beautiful and many people bought houses and rebuilt it the way you see it now and in 2014 four years later it became one of the most beautiful towns of italy and of course this brought much more money in and now you see what it is amazing how from ruins you can make a wonderful wonderful town and this is the church and he just told me that once in a while Ganji was a very very important town for Italy but after that as I said abandoned it but very very beautiful church I am so glad that there are no people because I am walking with my helmet in for some kind of disrespect but I just want to film it let's go to see another one town and from this town we'll go straight on on the highway to Calogero's place Ravanusa over there on the hill Petralia Sotana was the name Yes, another one of these fantastic little towns, historical towns, with beautiful stone houses. Ah, really, really nice. This is the nicest part. Here we can stop for a while. This town's got these fantastic views. This is just brilliant. Beautiful. 